Hey everybody, I'm Joey, and today we're gonna cook something we've never featured on the channel before. I'll give you a hint. They're green, they're leafy, and we're gonna smoke them. So follow me, and let's turn up the tasty. <laughs> All right guys, just like I said in the intro, today we're cooking something green and leafy, and it's this Brussels sprout. Now, this is not something I liked when I was a kid. Didn't like it at all. It wasn't until I grew up and had it mixed with bacon that I knew for the first time it could be delicious. I still haven't found the pathway on beets. Those things are still terrible. Had a bad experience when I was seven. I couldn't leave the table for days until I ate my beets. It felt like days, probably an hour or two. But we've never featured any vegetables on this channel before, but hey, there's a first time for everything. And it's a nice accoutrement to that perfectly cooked steak or brisket or whatever it is that you're smoking. Now, I have made this recipe before, but I've always done it in the oven or the air fryer, and I thought throwing them on the smoker would be an excellent way to turn up the tasty. Our friends over at the Spice House sent us their barbecue deluxe collection. So I'm going to take out two of these spices, the Brownsville, it's a Southern rib rub, and back of the yards. This is a garlic pepper butcher's rub. We're gonna season half the Brussels sprouts with this, the other half with these, and then test the results. Look, guys, this is not a paid post. They just sent me the spices, and I've used some of them. Thought we'd try them here. The first thing we need to do is we need to prep these Brussels sprouts by cutting off the end right here. All the way down, you might lose a couple of those leaves. No big deal at all. And over here, you can see we have a pound of bacon, which I've cut in half. We're gonna wrap that around the Brussels sprouts. The other thing that I haven't mentioned is I am making beef tallow, not just any beef tallow, it's Wagyu beef tallow. That's like liquid gold, the best of the best. So we're gonna cover these things with that Wagyu beef tallow. We're gonna season them with these excellent season, seasonings, seasonings, but we're gonna season them with these excellent seasonings from the Spice House and then wrap them in bacon and smoke them for two hours. Now we're gonna go ahead and dispose of these ends right here, really no need for them. All right guys, we just got some of that fresh Wagyu beef towel on there. It's hot and fresh out the kitchen. Everyone at home is wishing that they had this to turn up the tasty right at home. We show you how to do it in another video. But now that I have the tallow on there, we're gonna do half with the back of the yard, this garlic pepper butcher's rub. And the reason I put that oil on there is to allow the seasoning to stick. Over here, we're gonna use our Bronzeville rib rub. Now I've cut the bacon in half. You don't need a whole piece. The reason I don't use a whole piece is because then it gets like double layered. And my favorite part about bacon, if you've watched the show before, is I like crispy bacon. I don't like that chewy bacon. Get that stuff out of here. I want crispy bacon, all right? You don't need toothpicks or anything like that. Bacon is basically like the duct tape of the kitchen. It's gonna stick together. Look, I know many of you at home are already very adept at rolling up green leafy things. So you should find this part of the process very, very easy. You can see this tallow really coating these Brussels sprouts in what is pure meat nectar. Meat nectar of the gods, I might say. I can't wait to see how this tastes. That meat nectar is just giving it a nice coating. I thought that there might be enough additional seasonings here to kind of rub the bacon around. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and once I get these on the rack, go ahead and, and season them with the respective uh, rubs. I have not tried this back of the yards rub, but I did do a little taste test. And what I was immediately hit with was the flavorful garlic, the pepper. I think that there's also some scallions in there. Maybe I picked up the slightest hint of sugar and that's really common in barbecue rubs. That's what promotes that nice caramelization on the exterior of the meats as they smoke low and slow. Now the Southern rib rub I have tried a little bit on a couple other things and it really has a nice subtle heat profile that I think will pair well with these green leafy vegetables and this I say uh, bacon, you say bacon. Does anyone say bacon? Actually, I say bacon. Let's just face it guys, I'm a little bit weird. Now a lot of people think that this channel is called Red Meat Lover and we don't like these vegetables. We love veggies, especially when they're paired with some delicious meat. Am I saying that right? Is it, it it's ve veg veggies? Oh, veggies. Okay, all right, well, hey, you learn something new every day, I guess. These are wrapped up. We're just gonna go ahead and hit them with a little bit more seasoning on top. 
All right, guys, I'm going with my classic one glove. I, you know, it has that Michael Jackson element to it. Yeah, I guess I'm like the MJ of meat. <laughs> yeah. All right, enough playing around. We're gonna place the wrap on the bottom just to make sure we're gonna get space in between all these right here. Now that these are ready to go, we got that smoker preheated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that these are gonna take about an hour and a half, two hours. We recently did a smoked bacon video and that bacon took about two hours. So I think we're gonna see a similar process here. We're gonna smoke it two hours, low and slow. Let that bacon let these green leafy vegetables soak up that tasty smoke flavor. Once these Brussels sprouts get a little bit soft, we're gonna crank up the heat to about 350, 400 degrees Fahrenheit to get this bacon nice and crispy. Follow me, let's drop them on. All right guys, these have been cooking for two hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. While they were cooking, I went for a little nature walk and played some basketball with my best buddy to kill the time. Let's see how they look. All right, as you can see, that bacon has some nice color. These are really nice and soft, so I know that they're ready to go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these up now to 350 degrees, let that bacon crisp up. Should take about five minutes and then my favorite part, we're gonna see how they taste. These took about two hours from beginning to end. They look absolutely gorgeous. Can really see that seasoning coating the outside of the bacon right there. Let's start over here with our back of the yard rub. The bacon is cooked perfectly. That cut through right like butter. Oh, that bacon is so crispy. Wow. That bacon has the perfect texture that I like. Not crunchy where it falls apart, but you get a little bit of that chew. You're really getting the good flavor there. I'm picking up the notes of the pepper, the salt, of course. I can't tell you that I'm picking up a lot of the beef tallow. Really the point of the oil is really more or less to allow those seasonings to stick. I have tried to make these without the oil before and that was the issue, but man, that is a good Brussels sprout. Dare I say, a steakhouse quality Brussels sprout. I think there's so many different directions you could go with this. Obviously a balsamic drizzle would be phenomenal on there as well. I am kind of wishing I just had a little bit of vinegar in there, a little bit of bite, something. Uh, I, was, I would like to get that in there. Let's go over here on the Bronzeville. Bacon looks great. It's a good rub. It really is. I'm getting notes of that sugar. Very subtle, not overpowering. I'm picking up that paprika. Very subtle, a little bit of spice in there as well. Oh man, I'm getting a little thirsty now. <laughs> The texture of the bacon combined with the crunch of that Brussels sprouts make these the best veggies you could ever want to try. I encourage you guys to try this recipe. You'll be glad you did. And let's face it, everything tastes better with bacon. How do you guys Brussels sprout at home? What's your favorite method? What's your favorite technique? We'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I'm going to get back to eating the rest of these. I'll see you guys soon. I know how I'm holding this fork is triggering some of you right now, like a little three-fingered sloth. But you know what, I'm here, like yeah, in one video I'm eating, like there's other ways I'd like to do it, like this, you know, but the three-fingered sloth approach. Get angry, folks, get angry. <laughs>